Good evening. I'm Chris X, editor in chief of the Fauquier Times. Once again, back here after uh, a week off is Jill Palermo, our managing editor. Did you talk about my week off? We didn't. Talk, we we. <laughs> it's good I, to be back. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, here's a look at what we have in the paper for tomorrow. Uh, we have a look at uh, planning the county is doing for Medicaid expansion. That's right. We'll have. Um, they estimate that as many as 1,600 people will be eligible for the expanded Medicaid, and applications will. They'll start taking them in November. So we're uh, the story is just about what the county is doing to plan for that. All right, and we'll also have a look at the new director of the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, who happens to be a resident of the Plains. In sports, I've been warning you it's coming up soon. Football season right around the corner. We'll have the Kettle Run football preview. In business, a look at Old Busthead uh, Brewing. In lifestyle, uh, a in-depth look at a jewel of the county, the wharf. And in our looking back section, we have a couple of interesting stories, but one of the more important ones is the golden anniversary of Fauquier High's class of 1968, which is going to happen in September. Yes, yeah, September 14th to 16th. So this would be the first class that went all the way through Fauquier High School, and they graduated 50 years ago. And that class is a really active one, and they have, they have a reunion like every five years, so they're gearing up for their 50th. And we have a list of folks they're still looking for, so please check that out on our Looking Back section. And always, as always, we just thank you for reading.